Hi guys and welcome back to another informational Connery Sales video. Uh, this is just a quick one. If you haven't had your update yet today, I think it should be dropping for you at some point. I uh, got mine a bit earlier on for the PlayStation 5. Took a little while to download, but Chapter 2 of Age of Sorcery is here. Uh, as you can tell behind me, one of the big carts with the cages on and the NPCs that I'm sure you've seen in other videos and people talking about you can come and interact with these different people one of them will sell you resources another will sell you a particular weapon and one of the others sells you either workers I think they're called or potentially fighters tier 4 of course and Delincia Snow Hunter is potentially one of those that you can get which is really cool uh, just a quick refresh if you remember to do this event uh, if you kill a sorcerer, bring the skulls here and you place them in here then you get various rewards for doing that or if you manage to knock out a sorcerer you bring them to this big cart on your rope just as you would to your throw wheel and as you can see one in there because I've been trying it out place them in there and you get rewards again uh, yeah this video is just a really quick one if you can't tell already I am in Sepamaru which is up here on the left of the map for those that don't know and we're just at the west wall which is right next to the market in the centre of the map so if you know where the market place is we've got these guys all usually stood here so when you come up from the bottom entrance if you're coming up from lower end of the map you run up market's here and it's literally just here on the left and then I want to at this point give a big shout out to WAC4863 uh, for suggesting a really easy uh, sorcerer farm. Now there are potentially three sorcerers I think in separate you can get. Two that are together and one that is the one that he suggested that you could farm. Yeah you'd have to wait on official servers. Is it 15 to 20 minutes for them to respawn? And of course if it's an official server you're probably going to have a lot of people going for that same spawn. But if you get lucky and there's one there, we'll go take a look what that one is now. Uh, these boxes we'll worry about in a second. So if we go across here, let me make sure I get the right area. Uh, if I just fly up, if we come across here, this doorway here, if you're familiar I'm sure, just across here that's... Conan's bar just there so you come in that gate there you would turn left at Conan's bar run up along here there's some of the bandits over there that you want to keep away from this spot here is the area where the bearer can spawn and they're usually walking around here somewhere oh, there he is and of course more of the bandits down there I am cloaked and in god mode for this video but if you came within a certain distance of these, like one right there, they will attack you, so avoid this area. But as Wack was saying in one of his videos, if you come out of this gate, and you take a left, so you've got the big tree on your right, if you climb up here, oops, sorry about that, climb up here, and you can already see him there, go up again here, just on this little ledge, all on his or her own, this is level 2 this time right here as you can see where we are, we came out of the gate there there is a sorcerer uh, as you can see there, I've got nothing in my inventory at the minute just to show what's what what I would say to do it, now this guy would normally attack you if you come here because uh, no he may not attack you actually but as soon as you start hitting him he would attack you but just for the purpose of this video, they're not going to attack me because, as I say, I am cloaked uh, and using God mode just for this video. But if you go at them, knock them out. Uh, if you've got another player with you as a friend or even a thrall, this will be really easy because you could essentially just stand here. If, even if you're on your own, I'll bring your shield with you so you can at least hold the shield up because these guys do use daggers. Uh, hold up your shield and just keep hitting them with your trunch until you knock them out obviously the higher the level the more difficult they'll be but if you've got a thrall with you just give them a trunch and let them go at it and you just stand back uh, you don't want to go that way like I say because you'll end up having to go through what I call bandit country 
so if you stick to this wall here a little drop here try and get onto there now normally that would probably hurt a little bit you won't lose a lot of health probably a smidge if any get yourself down here around here and onto this roof you don't want to climb what you don't want to do if you fall is start climbing because as I'm sure you know by now you'll lose your rope and you'll have to put your rope on again and then try and pick up your uh, person that you knocked out it's not too bad like I say you probably only lose a smidgen of health even if you do uh, but if you're running glutton for punishment on your build you'll be pretty much to your lippy seconds so you grab them there run back through the market now there, there would be people cheering usually this guy here that keeps putting his fist up in the air I've just turned the voices off in my settings for the minute because to be honest while I was setting this up he was driving me crazy uh, so run across here here they are up to the cage bang and as you can see there it's also saying it's part of the battle pass so we put our friend in there and what did we get we got six gold well, that's gold ore I suppose isn't it silver we got that and we got a exquisite stew oops what else did we get we got some alchemical base and some steel fire and the new coin which I think we pronounce as obelisk but the NPC that I spoke to him before seemed to call it something completely different now I've got 12 there this time uh, so for this next bit I'm just literally going to dump these so I don't want to confuse anything uh, but these four boxes here I tried this earlier uh, so we've got level 1, level 2, level 3 and then a legendary and I did notice if you look in each of these chests that's the numbers for that one that was for a level 2 and then a level 3 seems to be a different food item you get each time you pretty much get gold silver every time alchemical and steel fire and your obelisk and then a legendary who happened to be the first one that I got uh, the thing that was different there with that legendary is that gave me the lasting feast but you only seem to get one of those just seems to be no matter what level it is with the food that you get it's one piece uh, but all the others so gold, silver, alchemical, steel fire they all just seem to vary by one or two numbers so I don't think necessarily it matters too much for the live ones especially on what level they are you pretty much get the same give or take you know one or two potentially uh, the only thing that does pretty much seem to vary is your obelisk but if you did this a few times been like with the legend we've got 11 level one we got 10 there so we only got one more for a legend that we with that level 2 we've got 11 again so it only just seems to all vary by the looks of it from 1 or 2 give or take but if you farm that particular little spot let's say you're going to wait 15-20 minutes like it is if you're on an official server if you're on your own private server you can do it as quick as you want single player will be easy just run away from the area do something else go back get them again and this is the spot in Separate which probably on public servers now will become a very popular spot because that's um, Sorcerer is so easy to get so that is him and if we just go back over here and we go back into where Conan's bar is again a second just gonna fly across so yeah Conan's bar is there still doesn't appear that they've repaired the counters like the bar counter there and another piece of counter that used to be there it seems to have disappeared so it kind of looks like they're doing refurbishments uh, it just looks a bit weird the way the barrels are floating I did notice how they fixed the tents they're now showing again uh, but the uh, yeah corner's bar doesn't seem fixed uh, if we fly past there so we're up on the top now corner's bar you carry along here 
you find these wooden things here uh, oops if we jump over here there's two people here temple court uh, there are two sorcerers here I would only probably go for this area if there's at least two of you or you've at least got a decent troll with you because the minute you hit one of these you're not only going to have these two to fight and try and knock out you're going to have these two to deal with and potentially sometimes the dancer that's usually sat on the other side of that wall will somehow appear from somewhere and decide to come through or if there's a wanderer who happens to be a sort of wandering here, a fighter or an archer, they will tend to come and join in. So if you're up for a bit more of a challenge, yeah, by all means, come and get these two. But the one over where the bearer spawns is probably the best spot, certainly for Seppin Maru. So I hope you found that helpful, guys. This is just a quick video, like I say. Chapter 2, Age of Sorcery is now out. The new Headhunter event. Uh, the, oh, the other part to that is just to, if you kill any sorcerers, so if you were to kill these two, collect their two skulls, or so one each, pop them in the pot that you saw next to the cage, and I think you get slightly different rewards, pretty much the same, but probably not as good as taking the live ones, uh, so I would personally recommend that, and certainly on a PvE server I play on, I'll be coming up and trying to do that separate room one as much as I can, definitely. Uh, so if you found this helpful, do give me a like. It just helps YouTube to recommend the old algorithm to recommend this video to other people. And the more views and like me up, sorry, I can't speak. Uh, the more likes we get, the more views we get. Just helps us grow as a growing channel to uh, progress and get bigger and continue doing things like this for you guys to help you out. If you aren't subscribed, do consider doing so. Welcome to any new subscribers who have just joined us. Thank you for joining us. Hope you're having fun with Conan. Uh, hope you enjoy Asia Sorcery Chapter 2. Any questions or comments, do leave them in the comment section down below. And just in case you're interested, there will be a link at the end of this video for my guide to Sepa Maru, which, as a very helpful commenter did point out, I did actually miss this sorcerer spawn from that video when we did our walk around Sepa Maru, but now you know where it is. Uh, if you didn't know then, so go ahead and check out that video and check out the other Conan videos and other content that we have on the channel while you're there. Right, that's it for me guys. You all stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.